the beetle got her colors based on traditional folktale from Brazil. Folktales teach us useful lessons and share wisdom with us. They explain things about nature. This folktale tells how beetle got such bright colors. Those story come from the rainforest of Brazil. This is the city of this place. Many different plants and animals make their home in the rainforest. Some of these animals are the killed in this place. Long ago, Beetle did not look the way she does today. I couldn't make it funny for her. Beetle, you're not beautiful like me. I will be brought first. It shines them a lot. You're just going gray. I don't mind being gray. Ha! You have plenty of animals before us. You do not have beautiful blue and black spots like Dad's are. That's true. I do have beautiful black and gold spots. You do not have shiny designs on your skin like arrow frog. That is true. I do have shiny designs on my skin. You do not have interesting shapes on your body like anaconda. Yes, the shapes of our body are very interesting. Would you like to come closer and look at your parents? No, thank you. I wish they appear on the tree. You do not have feathers of red and and blue and gold and green like carrot. That's true, but it's not nice to boast about being better than someone else. Stop teasing poor beetle. I like being teased. It makes me sad. We are all good looking and you're a plant. I can see what high up bushes all day. You may be gray, but I bet you feel blue. A goody kept teasing poor little beetle. A goody <coughs> boasted about how good looking he was. Harry did not like a goody teasing. She got tired of hearing a goody boast. Finally, from the top of the tree, Harry gave a loud holler. Hey, hey, hold your tongue, Goody. All you animals, listen, I propose a race between Beetle and a Goody. But is, would it be a prize for the winner? I would give a beautiful new coat of any color to the winner. Even though I'm happy being gray, a new pretty coat would be nice. Ha, a winner's race. I have four fast, strong legs. Beetle, all you do is scrape along on six little skinny ones. You will be far behind when I dash across the finish line. I may surprise you. Ha, I do not think so. Beetle and a goody, are you ready? I am ready. You will see how fast I am. I'm ready too. I'll try my best. Then let the wait begin. Go! A goody is really fast. Look at him go! Beetle is hardly moving. A goody is far ahead of her. Yes, but what is Beetle doing now? What are those things on Beetle's back? Yes, watch and see. Whoa, look at that! I have never seen anything like that before. Yes. Oh, yes. That is amazing. I'm so fast, I love that silly little Beetle far behind. What color should I appear and paint me? Red, green, blue. How about red and blue with green spots? I'll just point you in color. I look so beautiful. Ah, that's the finish line. A goody, where were you? Beetle got here long ago. Beetle was very fast. You should have seen her. Beetle won the way. Can't yeah. achieve victory. Yeah. Yeah. You won? How did he get there so fast? I flew. See my wings? I did not know you could fly. You should not, never judge anyone by the way they look. Even a plain little creature may have some hidden power. Mm. A goody was so ashamed she crawled and hid while Beetle got her colors. She chose to be green as the forest trees and gold as the bright sun in the sky. And that's how she looks to this day. I am beautiful. A story such as this is fun to hear, but it also teaches us a useful lesson. The tale of a goody and beetle shows us the wisdom of not making fun of others.